So this patient was referred to speech pathology by her respiratory physician with a suspicion of VCD. The patient had a background history of reflux and obstructive sleep apnea, which had been treated. And her voice assessment results when she saw the speech pathologist showed mild dysphonia and her questionnaire scores were outside the normal range. The purpose of doing the functional transnasal laryngoscopy was to confirm whether or not VCD was present. So Anne, I'm just going to put some spray in your nose. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put two squirts in each side. Right. Just sniff that back for me. Good. And we're going to time that for three minutes. So you just sit comfortably there. Brilliant. All right. Good, so I'll just get you to breathe normally for me and bring your chin up towards the ceiling a little bit for me, perfect. Okay, just breathe in and out. Just bring your head to the midline, perfect. Now big breath in and out. Good, now I want you to say E. E. And again. E. Good, and again a nice big long one now. E. And again. All right, just count from one to five for me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and now say up high and down low. Good, and now good sniff. Good, and just breathe normally. Thanks, Steve. We'll just open that lid now. So now I just want you to breathe in and out through your nose. Chin up towards the ceiling a bit more. Perp, just to the midline, that's it. Yeah, right in front, thanks. Yeah. That's it, just breathe in and out. That 30 seconds now. Yep, okay, good. Yep, okay, good. Alright, just coming out now, Anne. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> so, what we might do now, Anne, is I can show you the video yep. of this. You can see that's a little bit closer in there. This here is the back of your tongue. Okay, so those white things are the vocal cords, oh, all the okay. vocal folds, right. okay? Right. And this is the tube that leads down into your lungs. Now when you're breathing, do you think you want your vocal cords open like that or closed? What would you say? Probably closed. For breathing, so you want oh, the air to breathing. go... Yeah, yeah open. Yeah. Open, yeah. So just watch what happens to yours when you're breathing. So they're nice and open there, and they're just closing a little bit that time. So when you're breathing, they're not staying open the whole time. Not this person. Okay. Now here is where we get you to talk. Okay, so your vocal cords are coming together. They're coming together quite well. And that's when you're talking. That's, that's when you're talking. Coming, yeah. yeah, but what we are seeing is these on the side here are called your false, false vocal cords and they're coming in as well. So there's a little bit of muscle tension in there. Oh, okay. It's, it's mild. Oh, right. Um, do you have problems with your voice? Yes. Yeah. Um, so I have problems pronouncing a lot of things mm. as well. Okay. Do you get a husky voice or lose your voice? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. This is where you're counting. Oh, okay. This is where Steve's given you the perfume and you can see it's just starting to narrow a little bit there. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, so you, it should be wide open, but you're, you're closing down, not completely, but about 
over 50%. Yeah. And we've got some stringy mucus there. That's from the perfume. Well, is the perfume wouldn't, the, the closing down is your reaction to something that you're perceiving as unpleasant. Mm -hmm. And what's happening is your vocal cords are closing down at that point. Oh, okay. We'll book you in to see Belinda for yes. some, to start some therapy to yeah, try and get right some there. control over those muscles and open them out. Is that that? A little bit more breathing technique that she was trying well, to do? Well, there'll be a number of things, things that we'll get, you to, right. we'll get you to do. No um, we basically want to release tension around yep. here, but not only when you're breathing, but when you're talking and as well. And that's why I get so breathless when I'm talking a lot and yes. when I'm walking and yep. Yep. exercising. Yep. Mm. Yeah, because when you're talking, you're using far more tension in here than what you need to. Right, right. Because I thought mm -hmm. I was having a heart attack to start with. Mm -hmm. And that was all cleared and fine. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well this is showing some narrowing. Yes. It's not severe narrowing, but it's probably something that we can help you to it's reduce. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. The laryngoscopy showed that the patient had two issues. One, it did confirm mild VCD, and that VCD was exacerbated during the odour mm -hmm. challenge. The second thing it showed was some mild muscle tension during phonation. So there was constriction of the false vocal folds and there was anterior posterior constriction, which is consistent with muscle tension dysphonia.